uko tayari kumpokea yeah. nataka unisaidie kuunganisha mikono yako pamoja tulete pasta wa guest mudhoni juu ya madhabahu atuletee demu ya mchana wa leo na ninaameta barikiwa weka mikono yako pamoja tunapomleta juu ya madhabahu katika jina la Yesu karibu sana karibu sana Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana apewe sifa. Nimeitwa pastor na misi o pastor. <laughs> But maybe it's a prophecy, si ndio? We thank God for everything and I'm so happy to be here. Have your seat please. I'm so happy to be here. Henry is my good friend but tunaongeanga tu online we have never met but he's a good friend and you have done a good work in the kingdom of god henry atuulizwa wewe kwa youth wako in your youth what did you do atakuwa na kitu ya kusema bwana asithiwe what about you hallelujah what about you young people do you think that you will have something to say that if god ask you what did you do when you were young what did you do to serve me what would you say Hallelujah. My name is Lucy Wangedi. I'm an author and I'm a motivational speaker. I love young people and I love encouraging young people because that is the ministry that God has called me into. If I speak in English, mtanielewa? Ni sawa? Somebody say amen kama uko sawa nayo. Yeah, amen. Our theme today or the topic of the day is why it is important to speak up. Why it is important to speak up. Let me tell you, I just want to share with you my story, just a bit of my story. When I was in high school, uh, I used to look so down on myself and I had a poor self-esteem. I thought I was not important because I felt that everybody else was better than I was. Everybody else was doing something that I was not doing. I didn't feel like I was perfect in anything. Amen. I didn't think I was important. If I did something, I wanted to try something else that somebody else is trying. Don't you know kana is afanya hiyo kitu ni kwa perfect ka yeye. And when I didn't do it, I might didn't do as perfect as they did it, I felt useless. Bwana asifiwe. And the devil used that opportunity to make me feel that it was nothing important for me in this life. I was not created for anything important. Many times I used to ask God, God, why did you create me? Why did you bring me on earth? What am I doing here? Everybody else is perfect, but me, I'm not perfect, God. I can't do something perfect. Bana asifiwe. But Mungu ni nani? Hallelujah. Hebu waambie mwenzako Mungu ni nani? Ah, mbona usiongee? Uuliza mwenzako, Mungu ni nani? Because God is a God who is faithful. And God sees beyond what we can see. Bwana asifiwe. The moment I thought I was useless, the moment I thought that nobody cared about me, God was working things behind the scenes. Bwana asithiwe. God was working situations behind the scenes to make sure that today I am standing here. Bwana asithiwe. Pale nilikuwa kama ningekufa moyo niseme eh mimi sioni hii maisha nikiwezana nayo. And I decide maybe to take my life. Bwana asithiwe. People do that, right? There are people who take their lives. Today singekuwa hapa nikiongea na nyinyi. But because God had a plan for me because God has a plan for you and that is why you are here for me I didn't get somebody to share with my problems I kept them all to myself I thought I was an average student I thought to be perfect ndo ni kuwa perfect ni lazima ni kuwa a student bwana asitiwe tuko pamoja I thought that to be perfect for me to be perfect I had to be an A student. And everybody else was doing well I was not doing well. And I kept all my problems to myself. 
I finished high school. Nikamaliza high school, nikaenda campus with the same thing until the moment I met Christ. Bwana asipiwe. The moment si kulelewa ni kwa mukorino, bwana asipiwe. Si jalelewa ni kwa mukorino, it's my decision to join the Akorino. Bwana asipiwe. It was my personal decision and for personal reasons. Amen. Until I met Christ, ile time nilikutana na Yesu hivi, my life changed. He connected me to people who could have helped me to deal with my problems. People who I could have spoken to and they could help me to solve issues in my life. Bwana asifiwe. Kitabu walikuwa naambia mtu, napitia napitia. Kidogo kidogo unasikia ina kwa topic of discussion. Bwana asifiwe. Unaambia mtu because he or she is your friend. Kidogo kidogo ushakuwa the topic of discussion. Bwana asifiwe. But today I have come to tell you you are important. You are unique. You are special. Bwana asifiwe. And to show you how special you are. Because for me, I did know that I was special. I didn't know that I was unique. I didn't know that I didn't have to die with my problems. If only I could bring them to God, I could be helped. Bwana asifiwe. I want to show you how special you are. Unaweza niondolea hii? I just want to show you how special you are. Can I get three people as volunteers? Just come. Three people. What were tatu? Jitoleni? Engender? Mstena moja? Yeah, thank you. I want to just show you how special you are. No, ile wakati unaona like nobody cares about you. Like nobody really is looking into your life. Ukijua vile uko special, you'll never ever look down on yourself. Bwana asifiwe. I want to show you an example. This is Henry. You are? Okay, Mukami. And you are? Solomon. Let me ask you the first question. Do they have the same names? Do they? Do they look alike? Do they have the same height? Are they the same size? That is the first thing to show you that Henry, there is nobody on this earth who will ever be like Henry. They may look alike, maybe twins, but Henry remains to be Henry. Even twins are not given the same names. Are they? They're not given the same name. The names may look alike, but they're not exactly the same. Mokami has her name. You remind me your name? Solomon. They are all different. But to show that they are very unique. There's no other Henry here. There's no other Mokami. And there's no other Solomon. The second thing I want to show you. Come here. Stand before Henry. When I told, when they came here. Mokami akukuja kasimama mbele ya Henry. Alisimama mbele yake. Henry will never be a photocopy of her. And she can never be a photocopy of, her, of him. And that's why she came and stood on her own lane. Tunaelewana. Hakukuja kasimama mbele yake ya manyuma yake. Juyeye, she is Mokami. It is her. It is her life. She is the original Mokami. Kama wange kwa najua mini photocopy ya mtu fulani, nge kuja njifiche nyuma yake. But najua, no. I am me. Let's go back. Wana sifiwe. Even you. Nge kuita hapa pia najua, ni kwa shua, unless... You don't believe in yourself. But if you are straight, you are on your own lane. I want to give you another example. I want the three of you to step forward. If these three, kama wangeenda, waende, 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 will they ever meet? Will they? Will they ever meet? Oh, what do I meet? 
That is the same. Your life is in a lane. The fact that tunaindanishweza kwa tunaindanisha pamoja, but by the end of it all, our destinations may be different. Wana sifiwe. Our destinations may be different. Na mimi kama Henry, niseme niko Henry hapa. Nikijaribu nitoke hapa kwa Henry. Niseme mimi nitakuwa Mokami. I'll end up in Mokami's destination. What about Henry's destination? Nani atafika huko? Hakuna mwenye atafika huko. And it will be said that Henry never existed. Why? Because he did not live the life that he was created to live. That is how special you are. You are unique. You are special. God created you with a plan. Mungu wa kukuumba tu kuje ukaya pa duniani ukwe ukisaidia watu kuishi. I have heard that phrase. Situ nasaidia anga wengine kuishi. Don't ever say that. Yeah? Ati situ mekuja hapa hivitu nasaidia wengine kupanya nini? Kuishi. No. You came on earth because God, when he created you, he had a plan for you. The first thing that you need to do is to start appreciating yourself. When you start appreciating yourself as a young person, you start becoming yourself. If I don't appreciate myself as Henry here, and I, I desire to become Mokami, the truth is I'll miss out on myself. Because I can't be her. I'll miss out on being myself. So when I start appreciating myself, I start becoming more of myself. And when I start appreciating the work that God has done in my life, then I start becoming myself. Why did you create me? Probably, the only thing is Ningejijua probably, but without Christ to help me know myself, maybe exactly ni nani, I could not have made it. I want to show you something else. Just stand here and face this direction. Stand here and face that direction. Stand here and face that direction. Songa nyuma. Just songa nyuma. Adi apo. Songa nyuma. Songa hivi nyuma. Here, up to here. Up to here. Yeah. <laughs> I hope I'm communicating. Am I? Am I najiongelesha? I'm communicating. Ah, thank you. So I, I want to show you another example. When God created you, vile mungu alikuumba, alikuweka at the starting point. What is starting point? Starting point is a place where you begin from. Okay? So when God created you and put you on earth, I live with a starting point. And this is my starting point. So when he created you and put you on earth, he had a purpose and a plan for you. The only thing that he needed you to do before you start moving or moving into any direction, ask him, God, which direction am I supposed to go in? Probably ni meka mukami hapa na nafaa kukua hapa. Are you together? Maybe ni meka Henry hapa na nafaa kukua hapa. Okay, move in the direction that you are facing. Tembea kwa ile direction you are facing. Mbele, in that side. Wana asifiwe. No, kama hawa wata decide kuenda venye mtu wa meface. Henry face that way. They decide to go in the direction they are facing. That is where their life will lead them. But I'll ask you, let me ask you, Mokami. Jumenda Ivi, do you think this is the way that you're supposed to go? How sure are you? Because she feels that she has the conviction to go in that direction. Amen. Probably God is calling you to ministry. Maybe mungine ni pastor. There's a pastor here. Sindio? I'm a motivational speaker. Yeah? 
maybe you pastor wetu asemi anataka kukuwa motivational speaker ataki kuhubiri there's something that will miss somewhere sindio have a seat have a seat please let's appreciate them so it is very important the reason why we face issues ama tunapata tumekumbwa tuna mashida mingi mingi it's because sometimes we are going in the direction that we should not be going in amen well god has destined you to go in this way but wewe ume decide mimi naenda hivi mind you let me tell you the truth if you go in this direction na mungu ame plan you go in this direction utafika mahali and then you will you will hit a block because that is not your your lane uanze mashida Mungu mbona uliniumba Mungu mbona sijui nini Mungu mbona 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 But you didn't consult him even when before you started making your steps Amen God is our present help in the time of trouble Amen and that is why we need to consult him And to avoid that to avoid these my issues Let us know which lane are we supposed to go in in life. Amen. I was telling my story. So after I finished high school, nikaenda campus in my first year. Nikiingia second year, I met Christ. And Christ introduced me to a beautiful world. Amen. A world that is filled with peace because now I knew that nikuwa na shida I can tell him Nikiwa na shida God introduced me to people who could help me. Let me tell you. Ile mtu anajua club, anajua tu club, eh? Si ndio? Anajua tu story za club. Just an example, si ndio? Haizi jua there's such a woman here. Anaweza jua? Haizi jua. And this woman, if you approach her, she'll give you godly counsel. Amen. But out there if you ask somebody for a solution or maybe an opinion they'll give you worldly counsel. Amen. So God introduced me to people who could help me. People who could help me be able to tap into my potential. That's why I, I, I actually realized that I'm a motivational speaker. Kitambo nilikuwa nasema ai mimi si simama mbele ya watu nionge. Naongea nini? But when I met Christ and he introduced me to the right people in my life i started becoming myself ungeniuliza like maybe let's say five years ago if i could become an author ningekwambia hapana aji niandike kuhusu nini and right now i have a beautiful book here this is my second book it's called divine altars this is my second book I have a first book called in the promise but until i met christ and he introduced me to the right people who could help me that's how i've been able to reach where i am right now amen so the first step my dear friends you need to know christ mimi siwezi kuficha mbona nikufiche siwezi kuficha and unless hata when you may kuja hapa it's because you know the important of that Semina, atunge meet na wewe. Amen. So the first step is you need to know Christ. And the second step, Christ will introduce you to the people that you need. Amen. Don't go out there seeking opinion from people who don't even know God. Seek opinion from people who fear God and be wise. Out here acha nimwambie ukweli. Out here not everybody who is saying they are born again they are born again amen so kila mtu anasema ameokoka ameokoka some are out here looking for people to devour yeah you hear, there's a verse that says the devil is roaming around looking for someone to to devour there are people out here who are looking for people to do what to devour despite the fact that you are born again umeamini mungu don't be too innocent Are together. Don't be too what? Don't be too innocent and naive. Mkuu akikwambia twende hivi, wewe unaenda tu. Kikwambia twende hivi, unaenda. Twende hivi, unaenda. You need to have your own decisions. Amen. You need to be somebody who can do what? Make your own 
decision. Bwana asifiwe. Tuko pamoja. Tumesema we do what? We seek what? Godly counsel. Don't seek for opinion out there. Come into the house of God. Come to people who believe in your God. In God. Bwana asifiwe. I know you go to church. Naona ndanga church hapa. You all come here. Okay. If you go to church, just lift up your hand. If you have somewhere that you fellowship. Thank you. Appreciate yourselves. That means that God already has connected you to the right people. You have people you can speak to. And I believe that your church are Bible based or they are Christ based. One as if you I'll talk too much. But there's this thing, thing I just want you to tell yourself. Every time you look at yourself in the mirror, always tell yourself this thing, or these words. I am special. Amen? I am what? I am special. I am unique. And I am the best that God has ever created. I'm special, I'm unique, and the best that God has ever created. I've shown you an example here. Right? So I just want you to repeat these words with me. I am special, I'm unique, I'm the best that God has ever created. I can't, I can't hear you. I am special, I am unique. I'm the best that God has ever created. Now turn to your neighbor. Turn to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor this. You are special. You are unique. You are the best that God has ever created. So as much as you're special, that other person is also what? Is also special. Treat them with the specialness that they need to be treated in. Don't mistreat others. Live in love. Take care of it. Be your sister's keeper. Be your brother's keeper. Be there. Be there. the first person that they will approach. Huh? Be the what? Be the first person they will approach. It will become the topic of them. It should not be. It should not be the case. Are you together? I just wish and I pray God that we all be able to realize the greatness that God has created us in. Amen. We'll be able to realize how special we are. If Nikki Sema, you are special. I know the magnitude of, of special you're talking about. I don't know if you are getting the specialness, the magnitude of it. I mean special. You are special. And when you know that, appreciate yourself. Never look down on yourself. Never hate yourself. The fact that you're never a right student doesn't mean that you're a failure. Yes? You are here today. It doesn't mean that you'll be there forever. You need to encourage yourself. Connect yourself to the people who will encourage you. Connect yourself to Christ. And you'll become the best that God has ever created. So, this book, if you would love to read this amazing book, this part of what I've written is here. Part of what I've talked about is here. Amen? And I believe that this is an amazing book. And also you can follow. I do a lot of talking. I like inspiring young people. So I also have a YouTube channel, Wangedi Modoni. You can follow me there, and I believe that God will bless you. I believe that the few that we have talked, umelewa, sinyo, umesaidika, tupigie buwana makofi. Mr. Henry, ungekua hapa. Okay, um, my name is Lucy Wangedi. YouTube. Uh, my YouTube channel is uh, Wangedi Mudoni. Yeah, have a 
blessed time. Tumpigie makofi tena ya ajabu. Now you know that you are special before God. You are unique before God. And you are the best God have ever created. Clap for yourself. I hope you have learned something and you are keeping something for yourself. Don't just go out of this and meeting. Don't leave this place. Kama hauna kitu umesoma. I think for those few minutes ameongea, you have learned something. Thank you so much, Wangedi Mothoni, for that moment. We have talked to us. We have learned that we are special. We are unique. It does not matter what you are going through. It does not matter ambayo umeyapitia hapo awali. The fact is, you are special before God.